I called her one day. I had been working a job for a while. I had saved up some money, had been reading all of these different books and just educating myself on finance and stock market and all these different things. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what I mean? Um, I'm ready to buy a house. And she was like, that's not cool and shit, but um, you should probably buy yourself a multi-unit. Mm. You know? And um, that was like the the deciding factor on which direction I was gonna go because I had just read the same thing in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and her telling me that was like kind of like confirmation. It was like the bell going off on my head, like ding, 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 that's it. Mm. Go get your multi-unit. That's the second time you heard it. And then this time it came from somebody you love and trust. So it only made sense. And she was like, um, go look into this program called NACA. Um, they're a program where you can, you know what I mean, get in with them, no money down, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, oh, man, that sounds too good to be true. But she was like, it's legit. And um, I promise you, you know what I mean, if you do it, you're going you're gonna to be happy. So I went through the NACA program. And my first property, I ended up getting me a four-unit property uh, nice. in, a, in a very nice Chicago suburb called Forest Park. Um, right outside of the city, um, great amenities, access to the Green Line and the Blue Line train system, the expressway gets you downtown, uh, 10 minutes, um, Walmart, churches, malls, everything in the area, really nice schools. Um, I got a really good price on it. And um, in addition to me getting a good price on it, I didn't have to put any money down on the property. So I got the property with no money down. Um, when I closed on the property, I walked away from the closing table with the $5,000 check. And I closed at the end of the month. So the day that I closed, I went to the building. I started moving in. I started getting rent checks the very next day. Wow. So this, so I closed on the property. I kept all of the money that I had saved up, which was about $12,000. So I still had that in my account. Okay. They gave me another $5,000 after I closed, you know what I'm saying, which ran right. up 15 grand cash. And then I moved into the building, and the next day I started receiving rent checks of $1,000 or better from each individual property, which was three units at the time. So That's I wonderful. So you hit it out the park on your first go. Oh, man, it was a, a grand slam. Was, like, right. Okay, so let me ask you this. How important was your credit for you to obtain, acquire that first piece of property? Was it well, With the program that I went through, um, it didn't really matter about credit because they're more so... Um, concerned about your debt to income ratio and what's and what's on your credit. So your credit score doesn't matter, but they don't want you to have any debt on your credit. So like no collections or anything like that. You can get by even with student loans and stuff because you're paying that, but it will just go against your debt to income ratio, like what you could afford towards a home mm -hmm. property. But um, with NACA, they don't really concern themselves with your credit score. They just want to see that you don't have any debt in your current name. And um, 